Pokemon's always better when you're when you're a little tipsy, you know? I mean everything's better, I guess. You're back. You're back. Uh -huh. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? Wasn't it saying something? I don't think it was saying anything. She's stoned too. Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Oh, thanks for subscribing. Five months. Appreciate that. Also, it's very jarring to hear a Mordhau voice in the middle of a Pokemon game. I'm going to have to change those audio. <laughs> the audio prompts when I'm not playing Mordhau to something a little less jarring. You were going to say everything's better tipsy. That's, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it that Megan Meganium, I think I've been saying it wrong, Meganium, was an Illumina Pokemon just like in the Legends. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. But can you summarize it in two sentences or less, please? Thank you. So the story goes, yes, well there's one sentence. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have, wait a minute. We're also said he didn't even say anything to begin with. What is he talking about? Patterns that glow with unusual light. She sounded scared. Yes to the letter. Three of them, in fact. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. I think Professor is just... He's got a few marbles loose. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all of our research. Wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? Yes, it was uh, my raise, I believe, right? That's all right. It's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Oh, cliffhanger. Come on, Professor. What is this? CW? Come on. Oh, it's tomorrow. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Morning. Morning. It's the, they got the whitest guy in the world to do the voices for this guy. Did you manage to get some sleep? Morning. Now, as Rita already told you, Here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. You think there's a connection, Professor? Does Tom have some sort of mystical connection to the Illumina Pokemon that we're about to find out by the end of this gameplay experience? Perhaps. If you stare at Rita, Rita's eyes for long enough, you will see her soul. You're right, and I think her soul is about 8 pixels by 8 pixels. I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. That's a weird thing to say since they've been sending me out on my own this whole time. Well, you know, maybe. For scientists, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. I still think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it, ready to officially join our research team. What have I been doing this whole time? What, what was I, an intern? <laughs> Am I on salary now? What if I just said no and the game ends? Excellent. Well, then, He's like, nah, I want to be a Pokemon master. See ya. Roll credits. I've been working for free, right? It's like you were born to wear it. I put a pin on my hat. The guy says you're born to wear it. All right. What are we waiting for? Well, I'm waiting for the cinematic to end, lady. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Oh, come on. Just a little bit longer? All right. I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Benched again. <laughs> I got a team badge. What that does, what that means, I don't care. The expo though, right? Who knew this game was going to be so story rich? The drama, the tension. Will she murder him by the end of the game? Let's find out. Ooh, I get apples now. That's exciting. I'm a team member. I get to eat. As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? But is it just me or have you been getting me to do a lot more of the work lately, Professor? What is she? She was just complaining that. Oh my gosh. Okay. What what happened to him? He just peaced out. He's gone. So this is 
<laughs> she faded away. <laughs> Fluff fruit. They grow here in the lentil region. They're sweet and tasty and they make a great snack for Pokemon. He blipped. Yeah, Thanos got him. Pour one out for Professor. He got Thanos snapped. They make. They may look like regular apples. They are regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss it one of these. Oh, I'm gonna hit that Magikarp until he gets crazy and he evolves. That's what we're gonna do. I don't need to practice, lady. I don't need to practice. I've been gaming since 1993. I know how to throw an apple. You're having a German Pilsner right now for the professor. I'd say pour it one out, but drink drink it down instead. Don't pour it out. You can throw a fluff fruit by pressing B. Give it a try. Warsteiner, nice. That sounds pretty cool. B. Eat it, Pikachu. <laughs> I'm sorry, are we considering the Pokemon's dietary concerns? Maybe some Pokemon are uh, carnivores, you know? We always think of the vegetarians and the vegans, what about the carnivores? We gotta, we gotta be inclusive here with our Pokemon feeding habits. You don't need to explain this to me twice. It's gluten free. <laughs> Is it though? Is it? We're going to give Pikachu a stomach egg here. Am I supposed to be Am I supposed to be doing something? If you want to throw fiber, a little bit higher. You know the sad thing? These apple physics are better than any of the throwables <laughs> in Chivalry 2. <laughs> That's the sad thing. Gamepad and that joystick. Oh, that's what the problem was. Nice. Glad you figured it out. Don't forget what I told you, okay? I already forgot. I was reading chat, Rita. I'm sorry. But I think I'll be able to throw some stupid apples. I think I got that. I think I got that. What else? Okay. Rita, I honestly... You can tag along if you just stop talking. Just sit in the back. Oh, he's back. I got Thanos. Movie's over. I got one more thing. Of course you do. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with the internet? It rings a bell, I think. It's a communication tool folks here using the lentil. Wait, folks here in lentil use. That's a weird way to phrase that. Do I usually save these as Vons? You go in a bit and you're hoping to watch the rest. Um, yeah, I'll save the VODs. I'll probably put a bunch of it on YouTube as well. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send the photo on a description over Lentalk. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor too. That sounds super fun. I said that so drearily. That sounds super fun. Look for Lentalk messages in the top right of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. I got a new request. I guess I <laughs> I dragged the reticle all the way across the screen. I could have just hit Y. Okay. Livening up the flowers. Sometimes Florges seems to gather natural power from its surroundings. Would you mind getting a photograph of this striking behavior? Sure. Oh, these are other photos that somebody has taken. I'm a beginner photographer, says Michelle. That's really creative. Just chilling. Oh, man. That's like the same photo I took. I got stream sniped in <laughs> Pokemon Snap. Those jerks. I only get to see three. I guess you only see three at a time. Oh, there's more requests. A terrific yawn. Rita, you airhead. Have you seen which Pokemon is scorching these fruits? I'd like you to try to catch the culprit in the act if you wouldn't mind. I bet you it's that rabbit. 
He's got those fire toes. When Mag, Meg, oh man, why why is this so hard for me to say? When Meganium gets to this spot, it starts looking around kind of relentlessly. Do you think it's looking for one of its friends? I only saw the one. We'll never know. Let's go. Let's go. I guess we're going back to the park. Um, okay, I gotta go try to make the the flower thing do its thing. There you go. That's the technical term. The technical description. The flower thing's gonna do its flower thing. Very specific, right? I like to say so myself. It says I can skip it. Oh, it let me skip it that time. Okay. You might discover something new here. Hey, kids. Kids, not in the road. Don't play in the road. Come on now. What's new? Oh, are you? Look at me. Look at me. I hate your hair. I hate your haircut. Oh, he's sleeping now. Wakey, wakey. Oh, 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 I missed it. I couldn't get all three of them. I'm too slow. I'm just, oh, oh, that's really nice. That's a good photo of that one. Oh, hey, little dude, come back. I got to watch the fruit. We got to do surveillance here on this fruit. Is it Wurmple? Oh, there's that thing, the little flyer thing. You gonna look at me? Oh, something's happening. Charred fruit. I didn't miss it, right? Stop the bus. Did I miss it already? I thought I was gonna see something set it on fire, but then I looked away. Oh, there's something. Oh, it's this. I've already scanned these things. Oh, I can throw apples. I've totally forgotten about the apples. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Knock yourself out. There you go. Wait, is that a jigglypuff? What was that? I thought I heard a jigglypuff. I got excited. Anybody in the tree? No. Hey, Grokey. Come here, boy. Oh, Pichu's gonna get that apple, isn't he? Oh, apparently <laughs> he don't want no apples. Here you go. Eat it. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I hit all the buttons except the right one. Okay, let's try to... I bet if I hit this Magikarp enough, he's gonna get mad and evolve. This is a lot harder than it looks, I promise. Stay still, man. That's how you did it in the old game. You pelted the Magikarp until he evolved into Gyarados, and then he took the photo. There you go. Oh, did I kill him? Sorry. Here, bird. Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Caught on candid camera. So do I get like a thousand points if I get an apple through these loops? Oh, I apparently you can't. Okay, you gotta do... Oh, she's eating the apple. Do the thing. Do the thing. There we go. I don't think it did the thing. 
I guess we're gonna find out here. Beam me up, Scotty. Why it's a spaceship. And not a little, like... Wasn't it, like, a submarine car in the first game? I forget. I think it was. Because I remember you, we went underwater, I think? Or maybe it was just in a cave. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm not going to take any of those. This one's definitely better than the one I had. Ducklet. There we go. Bidoof. Uh, nah, I like the other one I had better. Wurmple. I don't have a Wurmple? I thought I had one already. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> I was just being a jerk. I don't need to be reminded of me being a jerk. I don't know which one's better. I That's pretty cool because she's like doing something. But that one's got the butterfly in the background. She's holding the apple. Let's go with this one. Okay. That's all I want to show the professor. He doesn't need to see my mistakes. He already thinks so less of me. He didn't even pay me my first week here. Nice work. It's got to be better than that first one. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Perfect. Dead center. We're keeping it. Ducklet. <laughs> That's just funny looking. I don't know what it was doing, but it was funny looking. Okay. Silver. I feel like that's better than silver. It's got to be better than silver. Wormpool. I swore I've I've uh, classified one of these already with Wormpool. Two gold. Oh yeah, see why wasn't it showing that I are how does that work? I don't understand. Great timing. There we go. That's gotta be a good rank. Two two diamonds. Yes, please. Okay, okay boss. What's next? Am I gonna level it up? Probably not at that rate, yeah. <laughs> if we make a few more discoveries, we may reach some new frontiers. Um I don't think I uh, should I I kinda wanna mess with the the little filters thing. Let's pick this. Let's have some fun with this one now. Crank up the brightness. Blur. Focus. I don't really understand the blur thing. Oh, I guess it's it starts in the back and moves up. I don't really get that. Focal point. There we go. Filter. Where's the, uh, the new one? Wait a minute. I, I unlocked a filter, I thought. In fact, I know I did. It was like polygons or something. Stained glass, whatever it was. We'll have to, like, enable it. That shuts that off. Huh. Maybe it's some other part of the game that I do that with. We'll figure that out here. Um, I'm going to save that. That's a good one. And I'm saving this one. In fact, I'm going to zoom in on it a bit more. Look at that. Look at that. How can you... How can you not like that? Why would you... Like, I don't understand the silhouette thing. Why would you want to use this? It looks, it doesn't look good. There we go. We're saving that. We're saving that forever. When I'm sad, I'm going to look at that photo and be happy. Okay. Everything else I don't really care about. Return to camp. So there's this area called, 
I think it's called like your room or your space or whatever it's called. We're going to check that out. See what that's about. I don't want to be missing out on anything cool. Because I've been seeing people put like stickers and stuff on their photos. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry about that. I was so deep in thought. I didn't even notice you. Well, what a weird thing to say. Digging the music though. This is the professor's lab. I know, I've been here like a hundred times. Not that it's... Okay, thank you for acknowledging the obvious. This is where the professor does his research. Womp, womp. Okay, in fact, he's pretty much lives here. Okay, a quick rundown, please. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First, it really throws me off that they say... A word that I'm reading but they don't say the rest of it so it's like I don't know how much to read and how much not to read it's really strange you can check out the photo decks that's the encyclopedic record you're building with the photos you're taking isn't it cool getting to put together your very own photo decks yeah it is next is your space this is what I was looking for it's not my space it's your space that's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. Okay. Your album is for photos you want to keep but not put in your photo decks. You can edit your album photos in some cool ways too. Am I forgetting anything? Probably. Was there anything else I was supposed to mention? He is fast. He is one speedy Gonzalez. Did you cover what we do on the internet? Uh oh, professor, I don't need to know about that. That was it. If you use the online internet, wait, the online internet as opposed to the offline internet? Editors, please. You can see photos from players all around the world. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer, nice job, by giving the photo a little digital medal. <laughs> They're called sweet medals. <laughs> Give all you want. People love getting them, do they? That's right, you can also see other photographers rankings in each score category. Okay. Alright, I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it all out quick. Well, you explained it all to me, so what else is there to figure out? Don't be shy, try everything out. I intend to. MySpace. This is why I came all the way over here. Album, research titles, here we go. You present me with various research titles as you progress through the survey. Check here to see what's possible to get and your progress on each one. Gentle wonder. Where's the, uh, Machamp? Where's he at? I know I got that one somewhere. There he is. Nice pose. It's like, I'm... How do I select it? It's not letting me. <laughs> it's literally not letting me select it. That's strange. Wait, why category? Yes, that's sort. When I hit A, nothing happens when I hit A. And then B just takes me back. That's weird. Your info. This is just me. Oh, I can change my picture. These are all kind of lame. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are all stupid. Let's do that. There we go. My name. Yeah, I'm not going to change. Oh, let's not. Let's not do that. So this is my best photo. But it's not my favorite. But I guess I can't change it. Okay. Well, I'll have to mess with this later because... You'll keep various records about your research. You update them constantly, so come back, check anytime. Well, maybe I will, but I want to go play the game some more. Let's see what's next. Oh. 
Let's go. We'll do another night one. Let's see what's new. Might have to get another drink here. I'm running low. I typically don't uh, drink when I'm streaming Mordhau because you really got to focus. <laughs> and you you don't really need to focus with this one. So I see ya. Nope. Wait, come back. I got apples. Make some uh, toasted apples, man. They're really good. You can get some peanut butter. And put, yeah, you see the apples. Look at this. Apparently, I can only have three on the ground at once. Wake up. <laughs> I actually didn't think that would do anything. That might be good. He really doesn't want the apples. Oh, we got a Caterpie here. Caterpie, buddy. I know you want that. Yeah, he wants that. He wants it. Oh, there's two of them. I'll give you one, buddy. Oh, jeez. I broke his jaw. I broke his jaw. <laughs> Tragic. There's like mushrooms. Oh, there's something I need to scan, right? Oh, it's this thing. There you go. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. Come up. There you go. You want an apple? He doesn't want the apple. Oop, wrong button. You found out that a few drinks, you're better at Mordhau, but as the night goes on, it quickly declines. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's not, I don't get better. I just don't really care if I'm doing poorly. These guys don't even care. The buffalo are like, leave me alone. These guys don't even feel it. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> I was, hey, hey man, look, don't you want that? What do you eat? You're a rabbit. You should be all over these apples. You should be all over these things, my dude. Oh, we got a, we got some crows. How you boys doing? <laughs> Here, there's the apple. You guys don't want the apple? Okay. You think I can get an apple in the hole in the tree? We're gonna try. I used to play basketball. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh my gosh. There we go. Nothing happens. Little disappointed. I thought, oh, look, he's fine. Oh, man, you can't pivot that fast enough. Huh. You want an apple? No. <laughs> okay, so what's happening now? I scans. Oh, it's over here. Crystal Bloom. Yeah, we know. We've seen this. You want some apples, bumblebees? Can you change the sensitivity? I might be able to. Let's see if I can just check real quick. Motion controls. Motion control sensitivity. Hmm. Camera. Pointer speed. Oh, I don't know. Change the camera's rotation speed. Let's crank that up to five. Zoom mode. Frame guide. It's still, like, really slow. Like, this is a good speed. But this is just so much slower. It didn't save? Oh. <laughs> I'll try it again. I thought it saved. It's weird because like when you back out of the other menus, it saves your pictures, but I guess it doesn't save your settings. Any discoveries? I don't think so. I think I just kind of messed around for four minutes. That's not very good. That's not good enough. Caterpie? 
I thought I thought I was zoomed in on that. I guess not. Pincer and that's still no good. The crows? Oh no, their eyes were closed. I took the photo as they were both blinking. Hoot hoot. There we go. That's a winner. Professor, look at this animal abuse. I threw the apple at the owl. And he's hurt. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a hoot hoot. It's a three star photo. That's new. What am I going to get? Three gold stars for animal abuse. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at it. his pained expression. That apple sent him right in the gut, too. I've got a pretty good arm. Took that owl down just about. I should level up, right? I didn't actually do anything, so no. Great work out there. You patronizing me. Let's uh, return to camp. Let's test out these camera settings now. Let's we'll see if uh, it'll make much of a difference. I hope it does. Camera. Go up to five. Wait, why isn't it? Oh, you have to hit A for it to... Oh, move everything up to five. Yeah, because if you adjust it and then you switch to a different setting, it just goes back. So you have to you have to hit A and it makes that noise and then it saves. Okay, so we'll try five on this next one. Oh wait, I have like missions to do, right? I should be I should be doing these missions. Yeah, we gotta figure out what's have you seen which Pokemon is scorching these fruits? I'd like you to try to catch the culprit in the act. It's got to be, it's got to be the rabbit, right? Like there's no other fire Pokemon that I've seen in this, this area. That's what we're going to do this time. We're going to go to the park and we're going to run full surveillance on those apples. Well, you know what? Those apples are like always scorched. So maybe... You see them scorch during the day, but at night is when the scorching happens. Did I just solve the Pokemon mystery? Sherlock Tom throwing out the conspiracies and solving the mysteries with logic. I don't need to see this. Let's go. Okay, where are the apples at? I got my eyes on you, man. You can run, but you can't hide from this camera. This is much better. Five, okay. Five is the sweet spot. If you're using the pro controller, this is much better. It's still a little slower, but it's not, it's not like painfully slow like it was. Hey, Badoof. Here, you want an apple? You got to hustle for it, though. You look pretty lazy. Here you go. Just because I like it. Okay, let's find these, uh... Okay, so there's the apples over there. Are they already burnt? They don't look burnt. They look pretty red to me. We got the crows. I know there's some caterpies on the right somewhere. But I'm not breaking visual contact with these fruit. We're gonna go for the wide shot here. Yeah, see, they're like, they're good. And nothing happens. Let's scan this. Let's wake them up so I can get a good photo of them this time. There we go. There we go. You just need to keep running it until a Pokemon spawns. Is that really what it is? Is it like random spawns? Whoa, what is that thing? Why is it glowing? Whoa. 
Yeah, why is that one glowing? Like, this one isn't glowing. It's the same thing. Is that a shiny? Speaking of RNG, there you are, you little troublemaker. I know it's you burning those fruits. Wait, why is my screen dirty? It looked like the screen was like, it had mud on the bottom left. That was weird. You guys want an apple? Sorry. You're so old, you don't recognize 90% of these Pokemon. Oh, I'm right there with you. Right there with you. Gonna get an apple in the tree this time. I got one in. Two in. New, new high score. <laughs> Is there anybody over here? Oh, it's the pincer. I always forget about the pincer. He's always walking around over there. I'm never looking. I've seen that guy like every time. Here you go. Big guy, you want an apple? Are you going to move for the apple? Oh, he sees the apple. There he goes. There he goes. Is this big guy gonna move? You think I can scan the map under the hoot hoot? Oh, on the sign? Maybe. Oh, I didn't get it. I ended it. I'll have to go. I'm gonna go try it in daytime. And watch those apples on the ground. Because they've always been burnt during the day. And then I'll scan the sign. Because the sign's there day and night. That's a pretty good pincer shot right there. I'll roll with that one. And then we got this. Did I really take a picture of the thing behind it? I feel like I didn't. <laughs> Did I really take a picture like that? That's terrible. I got my license revoked. That's pretty good though right there. That's majestic. Bunch of crows. I'll go with, I'll toss that one into the mix. I'll see what I get. But I want to learn more about that shiny one. Because in the game there's the shiny Pokemon. This is definitely an upgrade from that first one. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolute upgrade. Beautiful. It's like a horror movie, but it's still good. It's a Swana, but it's shiny. Three stars. Gold? Come on, that's a rare one right there. Look at that. Yeah, see, the other ones aren't glowing, but that one is. That's weird. There we go. What am I gonna get? Bronze? Bronze? Really? Professor Mirror seems pretty snoopy, snooty about what he considers a good shot. I mean, it's all personal preference, but at the end of the day, I feel like I'm getting gypped on some of these. Some of these I'm getting, I'm getting like generously awarded. <laughs> But some of them I'm totally getting ripped off on. Look at that. Level 2. How you doing, Sam? Right. Hope you're having a good Friday night. Another step forward for our research. Tomo or Tame. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Um, I'm going to save that shiny one, though. Because I think that might be rare. I'll save the pincer, too. There we go. We're going to save that one. return to camp we're gonna approach this in the daylight we'll have a better uh, field of view in the sunlight and then hopefully we can figure out what's going on with those apples oh Todd. 
The legend. He's grown up. Just like me. <laughs> he can speak now, too. That's a bonus. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. Are you the one who caught an Illumina Pokemon on camera? Way to go. That's a big deal. Todd, did you bring what I asked you to? Yeah, Professor, I've got your weed right here. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of Lentil, too. Huh. No kidding. Oh, she got snapped. Is that the new pod you put together? Reminds me of the good old days. Back when Blockbuster was still in business. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Hmm. Two hey. eyes. Huh? Oh. Back off, kid. It's your own mentor. <laughs> what the heck? Huh. Is this Gary? Gary's son? Hmm. So this is plan B for being a Pokemon master dropout? Yeah. You can't throw a Pokeball, but you can take a picture. You're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil. Phil, really? Okay. Todd's number one student. Okay, now. Easy there, Phil. He's had enough of your crap. Well, I'm tempted to take part. I thought he was going to say something else. I'm tempted to take part in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? Please, no. Please don't do this. Below this, you just become a Zubat collector. <laughs> I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Awesome. Or like a Metapod collector. You can be my stand-in for now, but don't forget, I'll need that badge back eventually. Oh, fine, but if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. What's an ecological survey, kid? Kid, you're only the you're only being trained by the greatest Pokemon photographer of the 1990s. Don't you know what an ecological survey is? The Todd's like Jesus, this this freaking kid. <laughs> Why do we have a we have like a cyber cybernetic like battle map here? Listen up, team. I'm going to give you. Good God. It's like a Zelda map. Now then. This is Florio Island, our home sweet home. The circled spot right here is our camp. But the survey will take us past these shores. Oh, we get to go to a new island? What kind of words is that? Bel Belos... What the heck? How do you even pronounce that? Bel us. Balu Silva? Balu Silva? Balu Silva. Right? Balu Silva. Balu Silva. That sounds like a boss from like Diablo. <laughs> Balu Silva, the betrayer. It's our first destination. I'm just gonna call it Bell. Bell Sil. Bell Silva. I've detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo one should be able to teleport to it. Okay. So they're acknowledging the fact that I'm beaming in and out of these locations. The kid looks like he belongs in Digimon. <laughs> yeah, Phil does. But that island is lightning enchanted. We'll see. It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon there too, in fact. Come on. Come on already. Let's get the survey thing started. This kid's going to get eaten by like a Charizard by the end of this. Anyway. Enjoy your first in a century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. First in a century? Professor, what have you been doing here this whole time? He's like, I've never left this property. I'm scared. In the comfort and safety of its own territory, even the wariest Pokemon will let its guard down to eat a tasty fluff fruit. I threw one at two of them. And they looked at me like I just flicked them off. So I don't know what he's talking about there. 
<laughs> look, I want to be able to put little clip art on my photos too. I got to figure out how to do that. Because that's really funny. That's funny. Okay, we're going to a new island. I'll probably do another... Uh, look at that. That's a, that's a nasty looking island out there on the right. It's got a desert and then it leads into a volcano. I'll probably do like two or three more photo runs and then wrap up the stream. Okay, so this is where I was. So I can move the founder jungle. It's like what you say to your friends when you're playing hide and seek. Found you. You're it. Pokemon at the research camp. Various Pokemon freely come and go at the laboratory. Whatever, whatever. Stoutland. Oh, I couldn't even read it. We'll never know. I mean, you guys can know. You can pause it and go back, but I can't. Not at the moment. Okay, here we go. This is pretty claustrophobic. Bella Civil. How did he say that? Keep your eyes peeled and your camera ready for Pokemon. Good luck. Hey, buddies. Wait, wait, wait. No, they didn't even care. I hear a, uh, look at these guys. A bounce. Oh, look, he's going ham over here. That's what I'm hearing. It's so dark, though. There's a couple of them in the background. Little fruits. Little fruit guys, where are you guys going? Oh, hey, whoa. Looks like a Disney character. He's really close. I'm not even zoomed in. Like, that's zoomed in. You're really close. Look, that's a big guy back there. Oh, I missed him. Beautify is creepy. It was creepy because his eyes were so big and it was just like so close. I hear something big moving. What is going on here? Ooh, it's an Arbuck. You eat, you want an apple? Probably not, right? Why is it stop? I don't want to stop by the... Is he coming through the bushes? Oh, I couldn't get a good shot at that. What did I need to scan? Oh, Crystal Bloom? I don't know why he keeps trying to get me to scan though. Oh, here we go. You sure you don't want an apple? Oh, really? That's right, Phil. Take no hey, buddy. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. He was waving at me. What is this guy? Snakes are known for their love of apples. I feel like you're pulling my leg. Fallen fruit. Pick peck. Ooh, that was a slam dunk. <laughs> a slam dunk. We got more of these little fruit guys. Ooh, what is that? These ancient ruins are being engulfed by an enormous tree. Got a nest in it too. What is that? I couldn't scan it. I hear something big. Am I like flying through the air? What is above me? Nothing. I must be like gliding. Dude, what is that thing? That's pretty cool. A leapard? You want some apples? Oh, sorry. Oh, I made him mad. Quagsire? <laughs> what a derpy looking Pokemon. You guys want an apple? I couldn't throw it that far. I'll come around, I think. Is he going to look at me? There you go. Yeah, you want an apple? No. He wants a mouse. No? 
nothing. He doesn't care. He's like... He's amazed by the waterfall, I think. <laughs> There's a Magikarp over here. It won't let me put it in focus, though. Dang. I missed it. Oh, my time's almost up. The end is in sight. That just scares him away. Okay. There's a lot there that I'm going to have to go back through like a couple more times to really see. Because there's just so much to look at in that one. That was your first crack at the course. I need to figure out about the ruins too because there's that tree. And I remember in the trailer, it said there were ways that you could go. Like, multiple ways to go through the same level. And that certainly looked like one of those situations. That's, that's pretty good. I'm just kind of picking, like, the ones I like the best. Oh, so see, that time, it recognized the plant, the crystal bloom. But the last time I took a picture of it, it was like, what, are you taking a picture of the ground, you dummy? Okay. Come on, Professor. Give me something good here. He hasn't paid me yet. I just want to point that out. I haven't been paid yet. A new discovery. Nice work. Thanks. Two gold. I'll take it. Beautifly. That's got to be a diamond. Like, that's a diamond photo right there. All right, there it is. Two diamonds. I was wrong. It's a two diamond photo. That just, it looks like a Disney character, like something out of a Pixar movie. And I think it's because of those eyes. It's not the best Arbuck photo, but it'll pass. Gold, maybe? Gold. I'll take it. Pick a pick. This is... I feel like that's pretty good too. Mostly because I got the apple and the tree on the first shot. Three bronze? Three bronze. Professor. You're being a little stingy on that one. I got a bird in its natural habitat. Lipard. It's going to be gold. Two gold. There we go. That was an adorable picture. This professor doesn't know what he's talking about, right? What is he doing with all these photos anyway? He's selling them on like Flickr or something. The Pokemon equivalent of Flickr. Flickr decks. <laughs> I'd never have guessed it was your first trip out there. Keep up the good work. Lentil research team. Why would I want that title? That's not even a title. Why would I want that sticker? Hey kid, you want an apple? No, I'm good. I'll just have a picture of my face. Photos I upload would be added to your collection online on your page. They'd be marked as my favorites. You change whether you'd like me to do this by going to settings and turning auto upload photos on or off. Okay. Are there any I want to save? Yeah, let's save this one. We'll save that one and this one. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to return to camp here. I tell you what. I'm getting a little tired. It's just about 11, which is later than I usually stream. I think I'm going to wrap the stream up for tonight. I just want to say thanks for everybody for hanging out. Checking out Pokemon Snap with me. I'll be playing more of it tomorrow night. Probably 
between I uh, started streaming between 7 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I got a little late start tonight just because a I had to find a copy of the game because it was kind of sold out wherever I went, and then uh, yeah, so I'll be back on tomorrow night 7 p.m. Eastern. I hope everybody has a great rest of their night. Stay safe, stay healthy. Catch you guys next time. See ya.